All right, there are only four days, four days until <laughs> Halloween. Maybe you have a little one who is dressing up as a superhero to go trick-or-treating. And perhaps they're going as DC's Blue Beetle, which we've never heard of, so maybe I'll get some <laughs> trick-or-treaters that come like that. Uh, that movie comes out on DVD on Tuesday. So Twin Cities Live movie critic Paul McGuire Grimes sat down with the director and chatted about how family is a big part of this movie. Excuse me, Mr. Reyes. You finished scraping the gum off that lounger or what? Uh, family is such a great theme in the movie and they play such an integral part. I mean, uh, Adriana is the grandma, hysterical. <laughs> so I'm curious, how did your family growing up inspire some of the choices that you made as a director? Uh, well, it did a lot. Like, uh, one of the things was uh, with Nana. Like, Nana reminded me so much of, of my real grandmother, you know, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. And so much as my mom and my sister, like, Milagro has a lot of my sister. Uh, who's younger and way smarter than me, and uh, but I think and, and the dad also the dad had a lot of my dad. Definitely, there's a lot, a lot that we took from our own experiences, from the music that we hear, to the way that we relate with our communities that we just had to put in. The universe has sent you a gift, and you have to figure out what you're gonna do with it. Yes. What are you hoping to see from Blue Blue Beetle Max on screen? Because he is gonna come back. Well, I mean, it's, it's very reassuring and a vote of confidence from James Gunn to say that Sholo stays as Blue Beetle and that Blue Beetle is the first hero of his universe. You know, we wanted this film to be the first act of a bigger saga. Okay, Paul McGuire Grimes is here with his review of Blue Beetle, which I mentioned. I'm not a superhero right. fan, yeah. but that I, that that actor is in Cobra Kai. That's Sholo Marduena from, he oh. plays Miguel on yes, Cobra Kai. He's great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and this is DC's first Latino superhero. And the premise is that he uh, moves back to his hometown after graduating college on his very first day of work. He ends up getting bitten by this blue beetle scarab, Ooh. turns into a superhero, of course, what? and then has to stop this kind of um, tech company who's building these kind of army militia. And the, the villain in this is played by Susan Sarandon. You also have George. George Lopez huh. in it as like the crazy uncle type character. Mm -hmm. It is so much fun and I think it got missed in theaters. It came out in August um, because of the strike. I think people kind of have this superhero fatigue but give this one a chance. It really is good for the whole family. The family themes are important here. And the Nana character is hysterical, such a scene stealer. And then Sholo, who plays Blue Beetle, is a really great, huge star on the rise. Had a lot of fun with it. I hope families check it out. Available on Tuesday. The Good special effects are really are great. something. Yeah, what they're would you fun. say for ticket stubs? So, uh, four out of five for Blue Beetle. Oh, I think wow, it's really well okay. done. Yes. All right, let's yeah. talk about Killers of the Flower Moon. This one's yes. in theaters. Yes, huge new movie from Martin Scorsese, based on the book by David Grant, of course, based on this true story. So Lily Gladstone, who you see right there, she plays Molly, who falls in love with Leo's character, who is new into town, into the Osage community, kind of get cash in on the wealth. And at the same time this love story is happening, she's witnessing members of her family getting murdered, members of her community getting murdered. Oh, and Robert wow. De Niro plays Leo's uncle, who is really the, the kingpin of all these murders happening. Oh. Wow, I Whoa. love these time period movies. This is something I would love to see. Yes, and I highly recommend seeing it because it's a part of history that is not told. We don't know a lot about the Native Americans in Osage. A lot of people right. don't. And the murders, the red wave of murders that happened under the in this community has kind of been forgotten under the rug. And now we're getting a chance to learn about the Osage community, their culture, their civilization and then the gut punch of what happens when all these murders start happening, oh. why? And Marty is so good at that realism, and you realize this kind of stuff is still happening. You know, when you start to think about the themes of these movies, it's still happening, and right. Scorsese's great at like sin and the evil within us, and culture at the same time, and religion, and all of his stuff is in this movie, and the acting. Incredible. Leonardo DiCaprio. So one of his best performances in years. Really? De Niro is stunning in how evil he is. And then Lily Gladstone, put her on your list for best actress this year. She just carries the whole film. So much heart and soul and just emotional vulnerability that she can't.
that her character can't deal with at one point. Okay, ticket So four and a half out of five. Oh, that's the flower moon. I think in I theaters see this now. One. Will be on Apple TV at a later date. Okay, okay let's got move just on a little to bit of time. burial. Yeah, so this is the burial. Another one based on a true story. Now on Prime Video. Here's Tommy Lee Jones, who runs a small family funeral home, and at some point he's going to have to kind of give up some of his businesses, and he sells them off to a corporation. But then the contract goes wrong, and he sues this corporation, Ooh. and it becomes this uh, contract law case. And then he mm -hmm. hires Jamie Foxx's character, Willie Gary, who is this hotshot, big personality attorney who's never lost a case. And this, what was going to be a very small kind of contract law trial, turns into this really big case on race within families and funeral homes. Ooh, it was, a lot it, of layers. Lots of layers. Is this, this based on a true story? Based on a true story as okay. well from early 1990s. That guy, Willie Gary, was once featured on um, Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. And oh. Jamie Foxx is so good in this character. And you have Alan Ruck, Journey Smollett in it. And just this idea of like, the truth will always get exposed. No matter how much money you it think you can prevail. have. It will prevail. It will prevail. It'll make its way to the surface. Yes, it will. And then like, it's if you like courtroom dramas, if you like a good John Grisham, Law and Order, oh, yeah. you will get into this movie. It has all that kind of courtroom drama, oh. you know, twists and turns in it. Yeah. Okay, what would you say? Three and a half out of five for the burial. Okay, now on Prime Video, it's a crowd pleaser for sure. All right, Paul. Thank you for Thanks being here. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. For updates and reviews of movies and streaming services, visit Paul's website, paulstriptothemovies.com. Also, Paul's monthly movie series at Imagine Theaters in Egan takes place the fourth Sunday of every month at 3 p.m. And on November 26th, catch the cult classic, The Big Chill. Oh, I love that movie. All right, today's movie trip is brought to you by Muska Lighting. Visit their showrooms to check out the latest fixtures from Cusco and Allura, designed by Minnesota native Alan Pepin. You can take 10% off those products in their showrooms through the end of October. Thanks to Muska Lighting for sponsoring TCL's movie trip. Our mudroom fixture from Muska Lighting is a total showstopper. We get compliments from everyone who walks through the door. Talk to the experts at Muska Lighting in Roseville and Eden Prairie for help finding the perfect light for you.